National Geographic has a video on their channel where they record an earth curve test. A large striped target was used and it was brought out onto the water with a small inflatable boat. And they want to do a round earth test, basically a test that will prove that the earth is not flat but that it is round. At some point in the video, the lady says the following. At first, all the stripes are clearly visible, but sure enough, as the boat reaches the horizon, the stripes begin to disappear one by one. The man in the blue shirt, he says the following in a different video. Okay, so that's them at 1.22 miles. That's just at the horizon, so we're not starting to lose any of the stripes yet. But from here on out, we're going to start losing the horizontal stripe. So the man in the blue shirt, he seems to have a good idea of where he thinks the horizon should be in that test. Also in that other video, the man in the blue shirt says the following. It was difficult to see the boat at three miles out when the effect would be most pronounced, but we did lose, I think, the majority of one stripe at the bottom. Have a look at where the horizon is. It's actually behind the boat. The horizon is about in line with the bottom of the black stripe. So if the horizon is behind the boat, then it's not blocking anything in front of the boat. There's a line on the water in front of the target. Maybe it's the wake from a boat that passed by, I don't know. The horizon can be an interesting thing. It seems various things can cause it and it can appear at different distances as well, sometimes far beyond where it should be located geometrically on the globe model, which I think gives evidence to it not being an actual physical object, but rather a visual effect. This is some video I recorded on Rock Lake, Manitoba. If the Earth is a sphere with a radius of 3,959 miles, then with the camera height shown, the geometric horizon should be about 1.26 miles from the camera. Things beyond the geometric horizon should begin to visually slope downwards. I have four lights set up on the lake at different distances, the furthest being at about eight miles from the camera, maybe even slightly more. See if you can spot a geometric horizon. things beyond a geometric horizon should begin to slope downwards. Can you spot a geometric horizon? I'm going to play some video from BMLS B69 and it's another example of the horizon being far beyond where it should be geometrically located on the globe model. If the Earth is a sphere with a radius of 3,959 miles, then with an observer height of 8 feet, the geometric horizon should be in front of the closest oil platform or about 3.5 miles from the camera. The furthest oil platform is 10.1 miles away, and the horizon is even well beyond that. This is somewhat interesting. Here's a recording with a zoom camera, and it's as though the uh, viewing range is coming to an end. Some objects appear to be near the end of the viewing range and are partially visible. It's like there's a glare, you know, it's like a that's how far the viewing range is at that particular time. And I think that can change uh, based on conditions. Kind of interesting. Anyways, guys, thanks for checking out another video.